It didn't feel right to get married without all of you there last year. But it also didn't feel right not to be married. This is everything I have to tell you about love. Nothing. <laughs> Neither of you will ever need to be alone again. <laughs> and that's all I know about love. Why did you gather everyone together today? Why have a ceremony and make vows and do all the business of a wedding? It's because it matters. The fact that you chose each other and you formalise that choice matters. The marriage might seem like an everyday, ordinary thing, but any two people who find each other and love each other and commit to working hard for each other, even when it's hard, they're a bit extraordinary. captivated me, challenged me, frustrated me, and improved me in ways no person has done before. And I have fallen in love with you again and again. I have promised to be true to you, to support and encourage you, and to challenge and frustrate you. I have promised to keep making you laugh with my silly dancing, and I have promised to try and listen to your train monologues in the <laughs> We've already begun the rest of our lives and it's been pretty great so far. And I still choose to spend today and all of my tomorrows with you. Here we go. <laughs> Susie Wester. Laura, since I have known you, you have captivated me, challenged me, frustrated me, and improved me in ways that no person has done before. <laughs> and I have fallen in love with you again and again. I have promised to be true to you, to support and encourage you, and to challenge and frustrate you. I have promised to continue to talk to you off about trains. And I have promised to always try and prevent you from developing any forms of anger. We have already begun the rest of our lives and it has been pretty great so far. Uh, I choose to spend today and all of my tomorrows with you. Today, but this is still a wedding and I cannot declare formal proceedings to be concluded until you've shared a big huge snog in front of everyone. So get it done! 